In the previous video, we explored the opening of epoxides under basic conditions. Now we'll turn our attention to the analogous opening under acidic conditions. Strong nucleophiles are typically also fairly basic and therefore incompatible with acid. So in this type of reaction, a weaker nucleophile is used. Before proceeding to the mechanism, I want to note that epoxide opening is a topic that is treated differently by different organic chemistry textbooks. Therefore, before proceeding any further, it would be very wise for you to make sure that your textbook matches the treatment used here. Otherwise, you may want to defer to what you find in your textbook for your class. The mechanism begins with protonation of the epoxide oxygen. This, in turn, enhances the electrophilicity of the two adjacent epoxide carbons. The weak nucleophile is attracted to one of these carbons, and as it attacks, the CO bond is broken, expelling an alcohol as a leaving group. Finally, a proton is lost from the nucleophilic moiety to neutralize its charge. Acidic epoxide opening possesses attributes of both the SM1 and SN2 reactions. Notice that the regiochemistry of the following transformation is actually the opposite of what we would have predicted under basic conditions. Let's examine why this regiochemical outcome is obtained by turning to the mechanism. Upon protonation, the oxonium ion begins to pull away from the two carbons to which it is attached. The bond to the more substituted carbon is weakened more because that more substituted center is better able to stabilize a partial positive charge. And it is this partial positive charge that draws in the weak nucleophile. So attack actually occurs at the more hindered site in direct contrast to what occurs during basic epoxide opening. When there is stereochemistry at the site of reaction, an inversion of configuration is observed, just as we saw with basic epoxide openings. While the transition state for the epoxide opening has a partially dissociated carbon-oxygen bond, the fact that the bond is only partially broken means that the nucleophile still must attack from the opposite side relative to the leaving group. And this is the source of the inversion of configuration. The following substituted epoxy cyclohexane was subjected to basic opening in the previous video. Now let's examine the regiochemistry and stereochemistry of an acidic opening of this substrate. The reaction begins with protonation, which enhances the electrophilicity of the epoxide carbons, with the more substituted one acquiring the greater partial positive charge. In this case, that's the tertiary center. Methanol subsequently attacks this more hindered center. Remember that methanol is a weak nucleophile, and so it must be drawn in by the center with the greater partial positive charge. There is an inversion of configuration that accompanies the opening of the epoxide because methanol attacks from the side opposite the breaking CO bond. Finally, the loss of a proton neutralizes the oxonium ion. 
In summary, strong nucleophiles are often basic and are not, therefore, compatible with acid. For this reason, acidic epoxide opening employs weak nucleophiles. The reaction has attributes of both SN1 and SN2. The more hindered epoxide carbon holds the greater partial positive charge and draws in the weak nucleophile. This attribute is SN1-like. Inversion of configuration occurs at this site because the nucleophile approaches opposite the partially dissociated CO bond. And that attribute is SN2-like.